Hey everyone, so I am not wearing any makeup because I'm going to do a, sorry if I'm looking over there, I'm looking at my screen, but I am doing an updated foundation routine and um, I didn't want to have to edit this video because if I edit it, it's not in HD and I want it to be in HD. So if it's a little long, it's because I really do take a long time to do my face makeup because I get really OCD about it and Yep, um, don't be harsh. This is really no makeup in case you're wondering. There's no eyeliner. My eyelashes are just dark. Um, I did curl my eyelashes just because I felt like maybe I could do something. And I really am sorry I keep looking that way, okay? So if I'm looking this way, it's because I'm looking at my screen, and this way I'm looking at my mirror and the webcam. So I'll try to look this way. I'm just going to put my hair back. which is not a good look for me, especially without makeup on. Um, my boyfriend says I look like my dad without makeup on, so, yeah. <laughs> if I look like a guy, that's why. I'm going to start with my Laura Mercier foundation primer. And some days I don't use a primer, some days I do. Usually when my skin's dry, I use a primer. Just kind of pat it on and then rub it on. And if you're wondering what my nail polish is, because I always get comments and I never know, but I do know this time because I started painting my nails since it's cheaper and I'm in college. And this color is Teal, The Cows Come Home by OPI, and it looks exactly how it does in the bottle. It is really nice. But this is two coats of nail polish. Okay, got my primer on. Then I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Oil-Free Tinted Moisturizer and I'm using the color sand in case anyone's wondering and it is a little too dark for me but my face is a lot paler than the rest of me so I darken it up a lot so I just take about that much which is kind of too much I guess but whatever rub it around my fingers and since it is a tinted moisturizer and it does look really dark right now but that's just because I haven't rubbed it in What was I going to say? I was just going to say something now. I don't remember. I almost use my tinted moisturizer as just a bronzer all over my face. So that's why I do put it down here and right here because it is darker. But it looks normal in person, I swear. And this is the color I got matched at Sephora. So don't be saying it's too dark for me. Sorry if I make weird faces when I put on my makeup, I just do that naturally. And since I'm not editing it, this is raw footage. Then I'm taking my erase paste, and this is color number two, and I use this for under my eyes. My nails always stick it, so. And then just pat on the concealer. I really like this uh, concealer because it's salmon colored, and it's um, brightening. So you just kind of go down, down, triangle. And then I put it on my lid a little bit too, just because it brightens up your eyes. Now the other side, pat it. Then I take it down. And then on top of my eye. And then sometimes I put it on my nose just because it is brightening. It pretty much is what I use for a highlight because when I use this I don't need to use a highlight because it is so brightening. Next I use um, for concealer for blemishes or acne scars or freckles or anything I use this color which is pretty much gone. I'm feeling like this color is more of a winter and it's SC3 Laura Mercier. And if you can't tell I have a sunspot here. I don't know if you can see it. But, um, it doesn't really get covered up too well, so. Right here. It's kind of hard to cover up. And this side, I have, like, acne scars, so. And they are actually pretty recent. I got them, like, a few months ago, and they haven't gone away yet. But I did buy Egyptian Magic. 
and I'm going to do a review on it once I use it a little bit more because it hasn't broke me out yet, which is really amazing because it seems really oily, so I'm just going to make sure it won't break me out after using it for a while. And lastly, it's really important for women to put concealer around their nose because with um, our hormones, we just get really red around the nose. And I especially get really red, so I usually use a lot of concealer around there. And then I get a little red up here. And it may seem like I use a lot of makeup, but all the makeup I use is really light. Like next I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD um, setting powder. And it really has no color. It just kind of sets my tinted moisturizer, which is also really light coverage too. I use a lot of bronzers though because um, my face is so much lighter than I want it to be. So it may seem like I use a lot of makeup, but they're all really light bronzers. I don't use a lot of them. I just use a lot of different colors because I feel like it looks more natural than just one color. I kind of get a little obsessed with bronzers. So just slightly put that down. I kind of put it down here, even though it really does nothing. It kind of just makes me feel like it blends better. And um, sometimes instead of using my HD powder, I'll use my Makeup Forever powder for mineralized skin finish. And this is really out. That is pretty much nothing left. Okay, it's kind of getting hot. I was really cold before I started making this video, and now I'm getting really warm. Oh, I forgot one of my bronzers. Oh well. Um, next, I have two Bare Essentials bronzer, and Abby, if you're watching it, this one's yours, so if you want it, you have to come visit me. Um, I have Warmth and Fox Tan, and Warmth I use pretty much as like a blush. That looks funny right there to me. But, um, and then this one I use all over. And it has this much product on it, which is kind of too much. I just swirl it around in my Bare Essentials uh, brush. And this one isn't too nice of a brush. I just like it for bronzer. So I like it for the size of it. And then I do the three. And then the three. And I kind of go like this. And then I go down the neck. Which is important for me since I use so much bronzer. And then I just kind of go right here. Wow, it is getting it really hot. I'm going to sweat off my makeup. And I just kind of blend it with that, my makeup prepper brush. And then I use the warmth. It's kind of more of um, an orangey color. But it, it doesn't make you orange, it just kind of warms you up. I use that right here. And I use so many bronzers just because I don't tan my face. Because I don't want to get any wrinkles. I always put a lot of... I wear sunscreen every day on my face. My face probably hasn't seen the sun in five years. So that's why it's so light. Even though I did go to tanning beds last year. And then I take my 109 brush. Yeah. And I kind of just do the hollows. And I'm using MAC Blunt. Go up here a little bit, go on the sides of the nose, under my nose, right here, and then my jawline.
And then I take this kind of a brush, it's just um, from Sephora. The number is 49. And I dab it in the same blush, uh, not blush, um, actually this is considered a blush, but bronzer blunt. And uh, the 109 just kind of makes it more defined. And then this, I feel, makes it more natural. More blended out, that's the word. And then, this brush is pretty dirty, but um, my MAC 129, the number's completely faded off. And for a blush, I like Spring Sheen. It's my go-to um, blush. Wow, I cannot speak. But for some reason, all my MAC blushes like break this way. I don't know anyone else who has that problem, but every single one of my blushes does it. So just kind of dab it in. You can't even see how much I'm putting on, but just dab it in. Smile. And for some reason, this blush, I feel, looks good on me. It's my go-to blush, but whenever I do anyone else's makeup and I use this on them, maybe it's just because I'm seeing it from another perspective, but it looks so gorgeous on anybody else. So, um, and most of my friends have darker skin tones. Um, some are Italian, some are Mexican, so, like, they have a lot more pigmentation than I do, and this blush looks gorgeous on darker skin tones, so... Yep. And then, I know I use so many different powders, but my L'Oreal Tantalizer I use on top because it gives me such a gorgeous, gorgeous glow. And I just use it on top of that. And everyone tells me I wear a lot of blush, but that's how I like it, and that's how I think I look the best, so. Yep, and then I just kind of blend it out a little bit with my um, kabuki because I don't want anything to look too obvious. Take my hair down. And I really do feel like it's a huge difference. I am heating up, you guys. And my hair creases really fast with um, a headband. I think that was like 10 minutes, and my hair has a really defined crease now. So, I'm just going to kind of brush that out. And here is the finished foundation. So if you, oh, I really am sweating. I don't know if you saw that, but that was like, I only sweat. I don't sweat anywhere in my body except for my nose and right here. I don't know why. It's really weird. Um, I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but this is the finished look. I pretty much do it every morning. I spend more time on my face than I do on my eyes, I think. And if you are going to tell me that my eyes are bug-eyed, I know. I've been getting an absurd amount of comments about my bug-eyes. Some people say they really like it. They think it's adorable. Some people say I should wear it as a Halloween costume. Um, so if you think I have bug-eyes, I know. I'm. My eyes literally do pop out of my face. That's just how I'm built. <laughs> okay, well, I hope that was helpful. Um, sorry if I couldn't edit it and you feel like it kind of stalls or I lose my train of thought. That's just what happens. Well, bye.